What's up everybody? It's your girl Danny, and I'd like to thank you for checking out my first CGC unboxing of 2023. And what better way to start off our unboxing year than with books that are signed by Todd McFarlane. Yes, I sent some books in, uh, books that I did press and clean on my own. And um, I will say that uh, upon submitting the books after I gave them a nice little clean and press, that every book I feel had the potential to be a minimum of 9.6, uh, hopefully a 9.8, but the books looked excellent. Now, <laughs> with me saying that, uh, I have been following uh, some uh, pictures on Instagram and on Facebook groups of people who have gotten their books back from uh, the Todd McFarlane signing and a bit of mixed results. Some people submitted tons of books and got mostly nine eights. And then some people submitted books that, uh, that were already graded, let's say around like a nine, uh, six, nine, four. And it book the book came back like an 8.5. So, um, I'm a little nervous about, uh, how the books are going to come back. I know how they did look, uh, when I sent them in. Uh, but again, I've been seeing lots of mixed results when it comes to, uh, the condition, uh, of the books, uh, and the people who came, um, who, posted books that felt that they were a higher grade sent in and got a lower grade uh, coming back. A lot of them had like uh, spine stress. Um, so um, fingers crossed that that hasn't happened to my books. But um, again, there's always that risk when you send your books in to be signed that they will come back with some sort of damage. So uh, y'all know how I like to roll. We're not going to prolong this. Let's go ahead and start this unboxing. I hope everyone is having a beautiful start to your new year. Uh, I will uh, keep it 100 with y'all. Uh, it started off pretty good for me, but I have a few health challenges that I'm dealing with right now. Uh, but... Rest assured, I am working on those health challenges and, uh, you know, hopefully in the next video, we'll be back to being nice and healthy again. Uh, to be honest with you guys, those health challenges is why I hadn't uh, unboxed these books yet. I've actually had them for a couple of weeks and uh, between work and then, you know, other things that I'm dealing with with my health, uh, I just didn't get around to unboxing them. But we're going to go ahead and do it now. And here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, drum roll, please. Moment of truth. Let's get this rubber band off. And let's get this cardboard. Okay. Here we go. The first book we have is... Batman 423, uh, this is the, um, this is the Fan Expo edition, I believe. It is the error variant, so there was a variant of Batman 423 that was uh, printed as a foil variant. These uh, were printed without foil. I think it was maybe around 200 of them that came out without the foil, so they called it an error variant. And... <laughs> Right off the bat, we got <laughs> a 9.2. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, I felt that these books all had the potential to be a 9.6 to a 9.8. Let's go ahead and show the signature. You guys know that sometimes I get the back of my book signed. And the variation of signature that we got was the first initial and the last name. Now, the reason why I did the back cover on this one was I was hoping to get a full signature and also, uh, you know, give him room to make it big. Uh, so, you know, it is a pretty big signature, um, but he did the T instead of the, uh, you know, Todd. So let me see here. 
looking at this because oh my goodness we starting off rough y'all 9.2 at least it's still in the nines i saw a lot of people who ended up with like 8.5s but the spine looks good oh, and here it is they messed up the corner i'm going to take a picture of this oh i'm going to take a picture of this so maybe you guys can see but they wrecked the corner right here and it's funny because I heard that Todd is left-handed and this book again was signed on the back. So that means it would have been, you know, this side would have been on his left side. So my corner got bent. <laughs> Still a beautiful book. Uh, it presents very well. You have to really look to see that corner, um, but it's gorgeous in this slab. And of course we got the uh, custom label there. So it still looks great but rough start okay here we go <laughs> the next book we have is spawn number one and we got <laughs> another 9.2 oh my goodness uh this book looked really good it had a shot at a 9.8 and <laughs> We got another 9.2, my goodness. Uh, let's check, where did I have him sign it? Oh, the signature is right there. So he signed it in black, so it might be a little bit hard to see, but there it is. Uh, and we got the full signature this time. So we got his full first name and last name on this one. And um, we got the custom label, so that looks great. I love that. Here's what the back of the custom label looks like. So that's a pretty sweet label. Pretty sweet label, but let's take a look. Oh my gosh, y'all. Woo! All right. Um, spine looks great. Oh, another wrecked corner. What happened to my books? What in the what in the multiverse? What did they do? Ah, oh, it's the same corner as the Batman book right here. Um, wow, that, uh, well, okay, let me take a breath because, you know, it, it's what can happen when you send your books in to be signed. Of course, you sign the waiver of, you know, possible damage. So I got to let this roll and, uh, you know, just be happy that I got some books signed by Todd McFarlane. These are the only ones I have in my collection that are signed by him. These are all for the PC, uh, so not like I'm trying to sell them, but man, uh, it's tough doing all that hard work of getting them cleaned and pressed only for them to come back with damage. So uh, I'll show a picture of this one too, so you guys can see the damage on that. Oh. Okay, I'm hoping that uh, they didn't drop my whole batch of books. I, I don't know what's going on here, but we got two more books to get through, so let's go ahead. All right, we have Spawn, issue number 312, and yes, we got a 9.8. Finally, this is the Skyline variant. See, I knew what, what kind of condition I had these books in when I sent them off. I worked on them really good, and I knew that they had 9.6 to 9.8 potential, so something happened with those first two books. But as you can see, this one got a 9.8 and we got the full SIG on this one. I love it, I love it. This is the Skyline variant, of course, and we got the custom label on this. So <laughs> all is not lost uh, because we did score at least one 9.8 out of the bunch, so um man uh whew, okay looks great i dig it i should have asked for colors for my signatures i've never thought to do that but uh going forward uh here's the invoice uh going forward uh when i send books in to be signed uh, i'll probably start asking for a specific color so i've seen some people's books come back and they had these really cool colors on their books so um yeah, I'm going to start doing that. All right. One more book. One more book. 
It is another variation of the Batman 423. It is also an era variant. Again, um, this was another, I believe, uh, fan expo uh, book that was supposed to be printed with foil. And again, around 200 or so. I know it's weird because it's a different color cover, but another era variant with about 200 that came out without the foil. And we got a 9.8. Yes, yes, let's get it. So two nine eights and two nine point two. So something happened when they grabbed those two books and the corners got wrecked. Um, again, because I know the work that I did, when you start to work on your own books, you have a really good feel for what grades they may come back. And uh, I knew when I sent them off, uh, what potential they had. So, and this is evidence of that, because I did pull out two nine eights and they, they all had that 9-8 potential. But let's check the SIG. <laughs> and uh, this is funny because we have two books that have just the first initial and last name, and then we got two books with the full signature. But I'll take that, I'll take that, and this is a beautiful book. Um, so I'm happy I at least salvaged a couple of 9-8s out of this. And of course we got the custom label. And I like that he signed this one in yellow because it kind of matches the, um, you know, the DC logo and everything that's going on on the back. So thank you, uh, Todd, for, you know, hooking up my books. Uh, I'm still happy to have them even though, you know, there's some damage to a couple of them, but they look fantastic. And let's show the, um, let me show these two together because they are, again, both the error variants and they both were 9.8 potential, but here we go. So these are the, the two books and uh, yeah, I kind of wish now that I had this one signed in red. That would have been kind of cool to have it match the, the DC logo back there. So um, yeah, guys, that's my books for this unboxing. And uh, overall, I'm happy with that. Again, uh, those are the only books that I have signed by him. So uh, I'm really happy to have those. The labels look fantastic. I love those. And, uh, you know, had to grab them because you could only get them with this uh, signing. So um, you don't get top labels or spawn labels unless you send them in to get signed. So. Uh, it was worth it to me overall. I'm ecstatic to have four signed books by Todd in my collection. And um, I am going to be sending some books into the Alex Ross signing. Uh, I haven't decided yet which books I'm gonna send in, but I am gonna send in a couple. And I'm gonna ask for specific colors. Maybe he'll do them, maybe he won't, we'll see. But um, that signing is not happening until April. So there's plenty of time to get the books in. And uh, I have uh, a couple of books that I picked up that I will be working on, uh, cleaning and pressing them. They're moderns. And so those hopefully will have an, another unboxing um, in the near future because they said the turnaround time has improved greatly. Um, I think it's even less than, you know, 30 days, maybe like a couple of weeks just to get moderns graded. So, um, Am I deterred from sending in books to CGC? I know a lot of people are kind of sour on them right now. Uh, with the, they feel like the, there's inconsistencies and things like that. And yes, it's, it's kind of a downer to get, you know, damaged books back. And it did happen on another book I sent. Um, let me show you guys real quick the book that I uh, sent off to the David Finch signing <laughs> that also came back damaged. I didn't even do an unboxing for that one, but I'll share it with you guys real quick. So this was a book I sent in to the David Finch signing. Uh, there's his sig right there on the bottom. And yes, you see this one is a 9.2. It was not a 9.2 when I sent it in. Uh, and I'll show you a close up of the damage that occurred to this book. So uh, just be aware that yes, if you send books in, uh, I've been pretty lucky I would say um, in the past with getting books signed, like I had 
book signed by Peach Momoko. I sent seven books to her and all seven came back pristine in 9.8. So um, it's just kind of a hit or miss risk that you take if you do sign books in to get signed. Um, you know, a lot of people recommend that you go with the CCS pressing. Uh, from what I understand, your books get signed first and then they get pressed. That is to help any potential damage or bending that may have occurred during the signing. You get a nice press after the books are signed. Um, I used to do that, but to save money, um, you know, I just go ahead and press them myself. Um, the damage that has occurred on these books wouldn't even be fixed by a press. So, um, you know, it, it would just have been money that would be spent on uh, still getting back a, <laughs> a book less than the grade that I expected. So uh, I'm gonna keep doing what I do. I mean, I did pull out 298s. I'm gonna just keep pressing my own books and sending them into the signing. I'm not gonna do the CCS option because it's just more money that, quite frankly, I don't wanna spend. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. But that's my unboxing for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a minute since I've uh, released one and uh, hopefully we'll see each other again soon. Uh, and until next time, guys, you always know what to do. Show your collection some love and take care.